I think for investors, uh, the two biggest concerns are what's going to be happening to the economy and what the, is going to be happening to the pound. Uh, we've recently seen that the economy has started to slow down a little bit in the UK. That may just be part of the natural cycle and part of the sort of post-election period. But also, there is some evidence that the UK economy has been slowing down recently. And I think a lot of that has been down to investment in the UK. Uh, certainly overseas investors are playing a wait and see game to see whether or not they want to commit their funds to the UK because they're not sure what the rules are going to be if the UK, for example, comes out of Europe and potentially what trade agreements we might have with, the new, uh, with Europe and the new regime and also what we might be able to do with countries outside Europe where we'd have to start negotiating new trade agreements. Um, as I mentioned, sterling has been weak. Um, we have a structural current account deficit in this country, which means that more money goes out of the country every month and comes in. That has to be funded by something. Uh, some of that is by business investment into the country. And as I say, if people are concerned and they're not making those investments, then that makes life more difficult. But also we've seen a lot of investment into, for example, the property sector, um, especially in London. Uh, and the, certainly signs there that things have been uh, less strong over the last six months or so. Um, well, in some ways, I think once we've got this out of the way, we should potentially be more reliable because at least people will know where they are. Um, investors, one of the things that they hate most is uncertainty. So once the uncertainty is cleared, and to some degree it doesn't matter which way it resolves itself, um, that would sort of lift some of the uncertainty and people would be more willing to invest after that. But would want to have some idea, obviously, what the ground rules are going to be, uh, and they would be different if the UK left the EU. Um, we have no hard facts. We have lots of speculation. Um, and lots of theories. Um, obviously earlier on this week the UK Treasury put out a document suggesting that um, over a period of 2030 there could be quite a negative effect on the UK economy. It wouldn't necessarily mean that the economy would shrink but it would mean it would not grow as fast perhaps as people have previously been expecting. Uh, their estimate out to 2030 was somewhere between 3 and 9% um, for the size of the economy being smaller by 2030 um, and you know, we, we won't know till we get there whether or not that is correct.